to you guys. You know, our young guys are very good. They lead the cutting edge. I don't want to take that away from them, but at, at times I think, you know, experience counts. So my first shot over your bow is experience well, counts. Thank you. Have you answered the question that was asked? <laughs> <laughs> I think the question was clear, but I, I didn't hear the answer, but I appreciate some of the digging. Um, chronologically, you may probably know, I'm sure you know that Confucius and Socrates were living centuries before you two. <laughs> and so I think with experience, I think if that's your direction, I think that oh. clearly there that assumes that experience and the wisdom. Not, not centuries. centuries. Confucius, yes, but yeah. okay. Lucretius but definitely taught Plato, taught Aristotle. Yeah, but it's definitely before. I mean, they definitely were born earlier. Anyways, let yes. me answer the question. <laughs> I said. And, and the other thing is, I think that as educators and as we've kind of grown with the profession, I mean, Obviously, we have tremendous respect for the people to our left. We are where we are from having them part of our first uh, surgical professors and exposure to them. So we're, I'm internally grateful. I, this is a funny debate, but the bottom line is, I think the principles are clear in health South surgery. The principles are to have a congruous first MPJ. Right? You can achieve that with many options, and you probably know a lot of them, but. I think you should be able to do a fusion well, you should be able to do a first MPJ procedure, whether it's a distal or scarf or a diaphyseal structural correction well and balance and recognize what's important at the first MPJ. So you can do that with many things. And you can definitely do that with a first MPJ fusion. So that is something that you should always have available. But if you choose to do it through a lapidus or you choose to do it through a well, perform distal osteotomy. The problems I've had with the shafts and distals in the past is I have learned how important it is to get better sedimentary reduction. I can do that through, better through and through, through osteotomy, right? So you can rotate it better. You can't really do that with some of the distal options. So I choose to do that because I think it's important. Having said that, I believe there's a many, many people out there that can cut a lapidus without having to put a bone graft in. 